Hello guys, welcome to V Games for me. This is thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. For the older subscribers, thank you so much guys. I really do appreciate everything. The views, the comments, the likes, the support. You guys are the best. Alright, thank you so much guys. Here is the continuation of part two. I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching this video. Thank you so much for all the support and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section like the video and if you are new here make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel because i will be uploading a lot of this kind of videos thank you so much i appreciate that uh, wow who knew there was all this going on under the leaf shrine now let's begin <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo, use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Tobi set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the four. Reanimation Jutsu! <laughs> Come now. Come! The ones who know everything. The former Hokage! The first Hokage? Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, first Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third. Why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation? 
and believe that it's okay. I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village or... Revenge on the village? <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you... Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, you want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. So guys, this is going to be the last fight between Uchiha, Madara, and Hashirama. This is where we are going to decide who is the strongest in this situation. Already I'm kind of picking him out, even though I got beaten by him, like, you know, he like all my ammo from the first, uh, from the first chapter. Right now, this is where the battle is going to end. And let you beat me. Coming down on you. Oh my god. That's such a move, uh, good move. I have to be taking that kind of uh, blue chakra of his so that I can do with mine. Oh, he's trying to. Oh my god. No way. Sometimes I have to give this, this substitution juicy and then I will be mixing it with. Uh, and in Jutsu also, so that I would be cooking my food as possible. Oh my god. This guy's kind of crazy, man. He's insanely strong. Oh my god. I am in pain right now. Come on. So imagine guys, which one are you going to pick up between Uchiha Madara and uh, uh, what do you call him, Hashirama? Which one is your favorite? Which one are you going to pick? Like if you want to become one of them, which one are you going to become? To be honest, I want to be using this kind of Sharingan because I want to see my eyes and turn all red. Change. Oh my god, it's awesome. <laughs> 
Oh my god, man. And this guy, he got the ability, you know. Turn everything into wood. And these are, oh my god. The light. That's Uchiha Madara. He can use light. Chidori. And his eyes, man. The color of the eyes, man. It's amazing. I want it. I would choose Uchiha Madara. Actually, I'm gonna choose Uchiha Madara. Even though I, right now, yeah, he's the bad guy, right? He's the bad guy. But to be honest, I would choose him. I would choose to become him. Man, this fight is never gonna end. He, he, he's always building his chakra back. Yeah, that's it. I won this one. That's awesome, guys. It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it? That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. <clears throat> That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day. For the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect. A way to bring order out of chaos, and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. A ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything. He wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect. He wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. 
Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me, even as I kept pushing you away. I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But, no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village, Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new wind.